Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC, once again. In the flesh. In the flesh. We got a package from... And we've got a package from DLT Trading Company once again. I just unboxed uh, this the other day, the uh, Chavez Sangre 229. Uh, boy, howdy. McAfee, I'm tired of your, your, your shenanigans here, pal. I'm done with it. Anyway, I ordered this like two days after I ordered this. It was a big week last week. It is Monday, late, and we're going to bust this bihash open together. I said this comes to me by way of DLT Trading Company. Once again, I did buy this with my own money. This is a true unbiased first impressions video. Something you will not find anywhere else on the internet. No one's ever done this before. This is new. This is brand new territory that we're marching into together. Per use. We're going to use the new, the new uh, Sangre 229 to buy, unbox this behemoth here. I got to tell you, DLT uses these big... You know, let's be a good boy. Let's cut away from ourselves. <laughs> yeah, let's be smart about it. The DLT uses the big daddy flat rate boxes. Uh, this needs to stop running away. And I appreciate that. It seems like overkill. I feel like you could save a lot of money shipping these in smaller boxes. You know, if it's only $2 a box you're saving, it adds up. Once again, the most unsettling... unsettling sticker in all, in all of knifedom as far as i'm concerned i have two of these now uh we'll be giving those away because i don't want that in my house anymore and then we have our nicely neatly wrapped little uh bundle of joy here swaddled up swaddled and coddled oh yeah boy sharp by design it's been a minute uh the last sharp by design i unboxed was the mini tempest and that, it feels like a lifetime ago, but that was just before Blade Show this summer. Uh, there is your details. SBD314, Sharp by Design, Apex, Drop Point, Flipper, Gray, Blue, S, 90, V. Oh, yeah. The usual fare as far as the box is concerned. Just a box. You, for the most, ooh, there's a, a big, the Apex. This is a new design from Brian Nadeau. Big fan of Brian's work. This will be my, marks my fourth. One, two, three, fourth? Yep. I, Brian, I can't get it open. Okay, okay. All right, everything's fine. Nobody panic. Everything's fine. You just slide it on out. Take the little piece of foam out. Throw that in the air. Woo! Oh, ho, ho. Woo! Wow. Wow. Okay. Now look, the, okay. Okay. Okay, looking at this in pictures, I was just like, wow, it's just, wow. It's just kind of more of uh, Brian's thing. This is nuts. Uh, first off, giant cutaway in the middle of the handle here. Um, Two-tone titanium. We have the stone wash on the outside and this inner ring, which is a separate piece and yet perfectly flush, almost perfectly flush, is anodized blue. Same on front and back. What a wild looking piece closed up. The pocket clips way back here on the back spine of the handle. Tucked way back here. Look at this wild. It's a frame lock? Bolster lock? Frame lock? It's wild. Brian, you wild crazy man. The uh, traditional six shooter pivot on both sides. That Brian Doe detent system that we all love so much. I did buy the flipper version just because I like having options. You know I do. Uh, it's a decent sized knife. Good size. Let's do a little size comparison closed up before I get uh, wild. Here's the last knife I bought. So yeah, not massive. You know, not exactly Chavez size. Um, but not tiny by any means. Let me give you, a, here, here's the big ridiculous, uh, <laughs> the Fairchild. So yeah. There's that, and here's here's uh, my kind of go-to. Not a not a ton longer than the 
rock wall, which is kind of my go-to size comparison. Let's put all this nonsense away. Let's flick this thing open. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, please. The Shirt by Design Apex. Brian the Doe, you dirty dog. Look at this construction. Barely noticeable seam. You can kind of see it in the right light. You see that? And it's just nothing else. There's nothing else in here. <laughs> it's just, a, it's an empty void. And there's another empty void. And there's another empty void. Like, hello? Where's the hardware? So the one screw holding the clip in place also holds the entire knife together. Wow, dude. Dude? Wow, beautiful. Flat ground, belt satin finished, S90V blade. This is made by Rayot, just like all the Sharp by Design production models. Wow. I, you know, I didn't think I was in for this much of a of an engineering treat but hot damn lockup is cash money no blade play solid as a rock really not that heavy of a knife detents money flipper oh dude that the breaking of a nado detent is something special you know if you know you know and if you don't know well you just don't know thumb flicks money Reverse flicks. Oh, boy. Huge deployment slot. Impossible to miss it. Access to the lock bars. Excellent. Ergo's choked back. That feels great. Okay, the clip's in a weird place. That feels... I feel it. I feel it, Brian. Help. Help. I feel that. But, you know, it's not a deal breaker. Nice and locked in. Choked back. You can kind of trigger pull it here on the flipper tab. I did get the flipper version, not the flipperless version. There is a flipperless version. There's also a Tonto version that's hollow, compound ground. There's all kinds of versions. Links below. Enjoy. But right here, choked up behind the uh, flipper right there. Feels great. Pinch grip. All day. All day. Beautiful. Really nice jimping here. Nice texturing to that jimping. Super locked in. Not going anywhere. What a thing. You have made, Brian. What a thing. You know, from afar, it just looks like another beautiful Brian Nadeau design. This is wild, dude. This is wild. Oh, wow. Well done, my friend. Well freaking done. Like I said, S90V, nice and thin behind the edge. Rayot does a baller job with their factory edges. I'm getting a little bit of a sharp, uh, sharp area right here where the lock bar is. It's... It's not very well knocked down, if I'm being honest, or at all. I, I can really feel that right there. When I'm going to disengage the lock, I feel that. And I feel the clip, which is something new to me. Oversights, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. All things considered, I love the looks. Two minor niggles. The placement of the clip is wonky. And a little bit of a sharp edge on the inside of the lock bar there, but God bless that is, that is beautiful, you have to admit. And that blade, I'm sure it cuts something, but we ought to find out together. A little roto router. Call Mr. Router for all your plumbing needs. Let's give this a curse slot, sir. Dial it in, microphone. Yeah, that, that clip placement's wonky. Oh, but cutting performance is not. That's, oh, oh. A little bit of a, a little bit of tooth to it. Got to be honest. There's a touch of tooth going on here, but man, nice and thin behind the edge. I was tempted by the Tonto because it does have that compound grind, so it's it's a hollow and then a flat at the tip. But you know, I'm a drop point guy. Well, I'm a warny guy, but if I have to choose between a uh, drop point and a Tonto, traditionally going to go for the drop point. A, a stunner, visually. I engineering wise design wise a stunner like i don't know what else to say couple little things nothing like too n nothing that's going to be a deal breaker for me honestly um i'll probably get used to the clip placement um i may or may not get used to that sharp bit right there maybe my fingers get soft late at night i don't know and i'm just like feeling it more 
Uh, it, the action will break in. It's not a guillotine. Um, most of Nadeau's knives aren't guillotines. They're just very nice and smooth and controlled. Uh, but something about that detent breaking just makes it all okay. A stunner. The Sharp by Design Apex in the house. Super pumped to have this one in the collection. These are still available. Like I said, links in the description for all the different crazy versions. Brian likes to give us options. Uh, I'm impressed. I didn't know I was in for this much kind of insanity. Well done, Brian. Uh, this is not the full review, just first impressions and unboxing. We'll talk about this in the live streams. Plenty of pretty pictures on Instagram. But that's it for me. I gotta go to bed. I'm tired. So until next time, thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye now.